Welcome back, everybody. I am C-Money. I'm a Grandmaster level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing Progressive Capitals on the Europe Advanced map. We're playing as the g -g 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 green player out of the sixth position. We have some pretty doggy doo doo options in this one. Like in this three here. The five is terrible, but that can be used to reinforce if I need to. We have a uh, blizzard here that could be potentially impactful. The Scotland blizzard, or sorry, the Ireland blizzard, not uh, not super good. Does make Iceland a one-point hold. We can see yellow up there. I think red, orange goes on the right-hand side. That's not a very good capital, in my opinion. Especially with blue up there. Those two are going to fight over that. So if we can just see... We got good vision in the center of the board. I want red... If somehow I can get red onto either this three here on Lviv. Or anywhere but any of these territories. Because I want to go on this three. I don't want to go on the five. And those are really my only options here going out of the sixth position. Uh, he unfortunately does have a three of his own next to there. I could end up capping next to this player. And I don't want to... Go on the two. Come on. The two's so juicy. Or this three. Really, I want him on this three, but I don't know if he's going to do that. Like, maybe he sees it as a four-point hold over this position. Like, going anywhere but the territories I see in the middle of the war would be the best. But these got to be his pr preferred options. Any of these spots really isn't bad. Prussia's not terrible. This two is probably... The Trieste one's probably the best. That's what I would choose if I was red. I would not go Netherlands. I He goes on that too. Well, I'm capping next to you. Sorry, pal. You can roll me. I'm going to take it out with a five immediately after. I, I don't normally condone capping next to somebody, but when the other options are all complete dog, like absolute doggy doo-doo, sometimes you just got to do it. So Blue's going to come in here. He's going to try to play for Scandinavia, which is going to lose a lot of troops, I feel like, taking these territories out of here. Eight. Let's see if he loses anything on me. And they hit orange first. So roll a seven on two. And you can lose up to five troops on, or four troops on this. Only loses one, but not the strongest capital in the world. I think Red's going to be mad at me for what I chose, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, but in the sixth position, I don't have a lot of options, and I don't understand how you don't choose the Trieste cap here. Uh, I could have gone hungry, but I think I'd lose that cap too. Um, yeah, red's not going to be jazzed with me. I'm fully anticipating seeing a, uh, a 12 on six here roll. And then I'll come off my five and I'll just take my cap right back. We'll be back to square one. It's like, it's like turn one never even happened. Um, Cause he'll have to split troops between both of these and I go immediately after him. So cap rolling me would actually be tremendously unadvisable. Um, but yeah, having this five here and knowing it can come come in in relief with two attacks is, is helpful. I honestly, it's very rare that you even see a five happen as far as troop distribution and auto setup. But here we are. And uh, speaking of here we are, if this is your first time joining my channel, I do have a video on the channel of how to play Risk in five minutes. It should have been triggered 30 seconds into the video in the cards, or alternatively, I think you can find cards in the description down below as well. Uh, and that. Gives you a run through of what the settings all mean, what the what capital conquest is, how to win it, etc. And you can see the settings that we have for this game all right over here, and those are discussed in that video as well. 60 second turn timer, auto setup, expert level AI, progressive cards, balance both sites, no rank restrictions, alliances off, portals off, neutral inactivity behavior, blizzards, and fog are on. And uh, we are capped directly next to somebody. This is actually the second straight game of me me playing tonight, of me capping directly next to somebody. Granted, I capped the first game. I capped first, and then the guy capped next to me. But it made sense why he did. Um, placed second in that game. Unfortunately, uh, had some unlucky cap rolls on my uh, my opponent, who beat me at the end. Got some very good cap rolls and uh, and won the game. Good for them. Uh, that might hit the channel at some point if I'm starved for uh, time and. Uh, and uh, need an upload, but not my preferred video to upload. So we're taking another shot at it right now. Hopefully we can pull off a win or at least an entertaining game. I don't have to upload a win, but that game, just the way it ended, was not the most uh, glamorous of, of finishes. Um, 
not the entertainment value, so to speak, that I'm hoping to bring to all of you in the channel. And speaking of bringing entertainment value, the, the channel keeps growing. People keep subscribing and supporting. We've got Zachary Sang and Mountaineer are the two latest on my list. If you want to get a shout out in an upcoming video, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure you have public subscriptions on. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. It does seem like the red player is actually going to leave me alone here, which is kind of funny. Uh, he seemingly placed troops elsewhere. Um, I am going to defend this bonus with ones, which is maybe a little bit inadvisable. But we do have a big old five coming in hot. I honestly could have rolled... I could have potentially rolled his cap, but I'm not going to do that. Um... It's very possible red does not let me hold this. It's also possible yellow doesn't let me hold this. Um, but we take this bonus. We got little twos guarding it just to, just to try. We'll see what happens. Red might just cause problems. Um, which is uh, potentially what it is. So blue holds... Blue manages to hold Scandinavia. Have no idea how they pulled that off. Red did not go up into them, and they seemingly are going into the British Isles. So yellow is down here, I would guess. Blue has now discovered the orange capital, so he will not be getting Russia. Um, red and I are capped right next to each other, so it's just a matter of where is white. Blue hits me. That is so strange. You know you're not going to be able to take that capital, and yet you still remove the additional material up there. I guess it's just to have territory count uh, as high as you can, would be my guess. Orange actually has a two-point hold over Orient. Now, if yellow is capped on Istanbul, that could be very good for them. Orange is going to try to take this bonus down here. There's no way in my right mind I should let him hold that. No, he's going to scoot to the right behind yellow. I mean, he placed a lot of troops back there. Didn't put anything on capital. So the question is, where is white? White is getting six. I wonder if white's in the British Isles. That could be something. Yellow likely holds here. We'll see if yellow wants to be inflammatory. We'll see if red wants to be inflammatory. It does seem like white is maybe on the left-hand side here. That's probably going to hit me. So I think Italy is my take on the next turn. No, he hits orange. He comes up to hit orange and then hits, hits to the right here, loses two, and then hits me. Okay, so I think white is actually capped on Andalusia with a pretty weak cap right now, but does manage to hold this. It's also possible Red took this France bonus. It does have the territory here. It didn't fortify anything off, but didn't put everything on capital. Yellow does not break me. Yellow does hold this bonus. Red is getting seven. So Red has 15 territories, but no. Is he going to come in and break me here? Where does he go for this bonus? Oh, he's totally going to break me. All right, we take Italy then. Now he goes up. Huh. All right, so red is friendly? Question mark? What do we got over here? White. Oh, come on. Oh, my lord. You gotta be kidding me. I put five down there, but I lose three and only take out one. That is awful. 89% roll. An 89% roll is a three on one like that, and it failed. Tough. Not the best of luck so far. Blue, very aggressive again. 11 troops this turn. Orange, still in a tough spot. Also, did this yellow come from the left-hand side? Did yellow hit through Orange's large stack that was sitting down there? That would be interesting. It does seem like Orange is finally going to go for this. It just hits, adds to cap, makes sense. I would not leave blue behind you. I think that's a mistake. I don't know why he hit me. Meanwhile, white is getting 10, so things are starting to shape up. And, and despite me capping next to him, red was at least nice for one turn. At least nice for one turn.
So blue doesn't hit me down here. I can take Italy on the next turn. Yeah, yellow, this is what I thought. Yellow's got this bonus down here at the bottom as well. He blasted through orange there. Um, what kind of aggression do we see? He's going to the right to take Orient himself. Wow. That was a 19 stack, so I think that was off cap. I think that was likely off his capital. I think he's probably capped on Istanbul. So we're not getting back in there anytime soon. Let's see what red does. Uh, doubt they have this bonus in here. No. Five a turn now instead of seven. Ideally, snuffing them out is in our future. I think they're trying to take this bonus. And whoever they're hitting will be alerted to that behavior. I want to hit this too just to see if this is where white's cap is. Oh no, maybe red went up here. It did fortify from up there. We're going to we're going to hit white here. It might anger him, but I want to take a look. Okay, well played. We just send him the well played. He's not defending, so he's heavily defending this, but this isn't a capital. The capital's on the bottom side. So we could potentially snuff white out here pretty soon. We're holding double bonus. Only blue knows that I took this bonus on that turn. We're also at 12 territories now. I think we lose this to white, though, on white's turn. We'll see how friendly white is willing to be. I did hit their two, opened up their nine. Obviously didn't know that was there previously. And I can snuff their bonus out. That's why they got to be a little bit careful here. Blue comes in. From the top side, uh, and he's got a backdoor red. He'll find the red cap here. Yeah, so he sees that red and I are capped next to each other. Also takes red completely out of that area. And then fortifies out. So red must have tried to take the UK, and blue was not having any of it. So now Orange, who's sandwiched between blue and yellow, has the opportunity to figure out what they want to do here. We've got an interesting game where I've, despite capping next to red, have managed to not irritate anybody, uh, which is surprising. Well, I maybe irritated white. We still don't know if I've irritated white. Um, but I don't particularly like, with the board starting to shake out the way it is, I don't really like white's position. Um, especially if their cap's on the bottom here. Now, he could drop this 10 on the 9 here and then really wreak havoc but I, I almost wonder if he goes for the bonus down here I think he should go for France I want to get orange out of here because I want to sandwich orange into the right side of the map I don't want him having any presence at the bottom but let's see what white does white is still in the draft phase seemingly has not placed any troops oh he's starting to do it now the little head bob when it twitches like that is usually a good sign that that a troop is being placed somewhere taking a very long time for his turn so the players in our game the blue player he does put one troop up there right, the blue player is r palmer p i am fairly fairly certain i have played against this player before um like almost positive uh, but they are the blue player in the first position from the united states we have the orange player brian hamasaki from the United States in the second position. Yellow is getting 15, so we, Orange did not break him. Or, er, no, you know what? Orange might have broken him. That's only plus three. I was expecting plus six. Uh, Brian Hamasaki, the orange player in the second position. The white player, General Mensa, in the third position is from the United States. The yellow player, Will Sunflower. Is that the flag of Cuba? Cuba flag or Puerto Rico? Oh, no, it is the Cuban flag flag of cuba uh we have the did he just go sack into the cap up there oh i could totally take that for free maybe i let blue come down first is it worth uh, 33 on nine and then him potentially breaking bonuses i think i am better off letting blue um let's just put one troop here uh letting blue hit this then, oh, we got blue down here. Interesting. 
than than taking it myself. I don't. It's not a particularly great capital at this stage of the game. I just don't think it's worth it yet. So blue, I think, still holds Iceland. I wonder if he opened up blue's cap up here. I think blue's cap is either Raskila or Petrozavodsk. I think it was Raskila. I could have taken red's cap. I opted not to because I want red to be on my side here. So we hit orange out of here. Orange is forced over to where their capital is. Eventually to be drowned out by yellow. And yellow from that orange position, if he, even if he had both capitals, is still a one, two, three, four, five point card block for quite a considerable amount of the map. Blue sets in early. This was my hopes, as I knew red was down here. I also knew red is in Eastern Europe. If blue comes in and tries to take the red capital, um, he leaves himself weak, and he potentially feeds me red. Seemingly didn't get very far. He took too long to decide what he wanted to do, um, which is interesting. So I'm, I'm holding a good position on the board. Yellow and myself, I think, are probably the biggest threats right now because of blue and, and red's coral. Uh, orange is not. Orange is eventually going to be snuffed out, and white just isn't doing a whole lot in the aggression department. Very slow to make their turns, uh, decide what they want to do, place their troops, etc., um, so I think I try to leave white alive as long as possible, provided they don't directly aggress me. And if that's the case, then I leave white alive as long as possible so that I can benefit off of their speed. So like we let him take this bonus. I'll even send him the well played. Yeah. Split yourself. Perfect, bro. I'm not going to break you. We're chipper. Everything is delightful. Um, we got a little bit of red here, a little bit of red here. I imagine, I almost anticipate red trading in. Um, but I think using red as a tool to keep blue in check is not a bad idea uh, at this stage of the game. It's also possible that red just flags. Um, they are still placing troops, seemingly. Can't imagine whatever actions they're going to make here is going to make Blue super happy. They're on five cards. They are pulling. I mean, at this point. Is he letting me kill him? What? Why? White's over here. That's interesting. Uh, What's up here? Well, I don't win that anyway. I'm going to take his cap. I, I might as well. The car It's too early for the cards, I think. And I don't know exactly where all of him is. I'm not going to kill him. Not going to kill him. I'm going to keep him here. I think he was hoping I was going to kill him. I just, I don't know where all of you is. I, I don't want to fail a kill and feed five cards to somebody else. Maybe it very well might be a mistake. I think, the, I think what, the amount of troops I lose is probably equal. If blue comes down here and takes this, I guess is my thought. So very weird. I Maybe I should have killed him, but I was worried there was going to be some of him behind white's two here. That was my concern. And, and, like, I've got a good hold on each of his different spots around here. Like, like we got the one down here that yellow can see. White can see the one here. I obviously see the nine. Blue and I see the one. Like, it's a little bit all over. So, orange, I think, just took a card and called it, called it a day. Most likely. 
Yep. I would not be surprised to see yellow go heavy into orange on this next turn. White's going to go up into blue here, right? Oh, he goes up into blue here. All right. All right, white. I've been a good neighbor to white. I don't think blue hasn't, but I'm not complaining. I'll take it. I will take it, everybody. I do not mind. I believe I mentioned the recent subscribers. If I didn't, I will mention them again. And Zachary Sang and Mountaineer, maybe you get a double shout out in this one. I sometimes forget. I try to record a couple videos tonight. So um, whichever ones those the shout outs trickle into. I was really hoping Red would just flag and quit and not have the set here. And I would just get the five cards by them quitting, but unfortunately it doesn't happen. I, I maybe should have just gone for the kill, but I thought it may be a bit early. And I would double set with the four and the six, and I'm going to get the 15 on my own. Yellow does kill orange. That had to have been a pretty hardy investment. He does get the 12, so I'm actually going to get the 20. I will get the 20. And so Brad's going to get the 15. Oh, boy. Okay. So red 12 plus 15, 27 on 17. If he wants it. I was hoping he would just go hit blue. That's like I left him alive. Oh, my God. Is he just going to go sack into blue? Please do. He's an absolute legend if he does. I don't keep multiple positions alive. That's not chill. Don't make yourself harder to kill. Just dropping nines all over. Oh, he's going for chaos. I love it. He's dice rolling me. What a goof. Is that is this the dice roll on me? No, that was up on blue. Okay. Well, he took a card, so I might as well try to kill him. I don't know where all of you is, though. All of you is? All of you are? I don't know. Uh, I set off of killing him. White's there. White's been ch chunking a bunch up here, too. Jeez. Alright, we do get the kill on red. So how weak is blue slash the yellow cap? That's my question here. Let's just go... I don't know. These caps, I don't really need to defend them that hard right now. Eleven. Seventeen. Well played on yellow's part. Alright, so we're on three cards now. Red is out. I think I gained more than I lost in that whole exchange. I have a lot more of the map now. Uh... We, we've got a look at everybody's capitals as well. So blue is presumably hitting white right now. He does not have a well-defended capital. White also doesn't have a very well-defended capital. I do have a set as well. <clears throat> so the question is, is what is what is yellow going to do to me here? Because it's, it's really, a, right now it's a game between yellow and I, I think. Because blue and white are attacking each other. Um... How much of that comes back to cap? White's getting five. Wow, okay. Blue just went in. I'm a little chilly, by the way. We're going to take this. Oh, but white's got the set. Oh, white has the set. And he, he, I assume he's kind of smart. Yeah, he puts a little bit on capital. I like that. Just four there. Oh. Oh, he goes, okay. I was so worried he was going to go into me. So blue's on four cards. 
with a really poorly defended capital, depending on what white does here, if white goes into me, or sorry, not white, yellow, depending on what yellow does here. Yeah, he's really, come on, hit as much as you can, dude. Hit, hit both of these. Oh, feed me this, please. Hit this one. Okay. Yep. 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 I'm I'm fine being fed four cards for the specific reason of unless he nests some blue down here, but I don't think that's the case. Let's see what yellow does. Yellow's getting 19 because he's finally secured this bonus. Lost this bonus, but does have the capital. So it's essentially. Uh, oh, and he's gonna set in. Does he go for blue? An early set from him dumps everything over here. I would even split these, I would imagine. Trades are 35, so he, yeah, he's going to even split this. He's probably going to break me too, isn't he? No, he just chills. Okay. Pulls back to cap. Yeah, conservative player. Uh, we're going to try to kill blue. Four. Four. 54. that that puts me on five cards it's not like anybody is going to be able to kill me we go back to that capital so we don't piss off white well eh, we may have pissed off white because we stole the kill from him but i'm hopeful that's not the case i should just be able to kill white he's getting 15 but i'm on a set and he's not ha he doesn't have a very well defended capital I don't set off of killing him, though. That's the one downside here. Also, he put this 21 over here. And that comes back to capital. That makes him much more difficult to kill. But I think I just need to go for him. Sets are 45 now. I hold a lot of the board. 35, so I need like 70 to come take his cap. He's not on a set. There's actually really no real reason to try to kill him right now. I'm just going to take the UK, I think. I'm not even going to take this. Well, I can take this bonus, too. Uh, horse trade, Estonian Lafia. Sure. That actually blocks something off. 40, 25, 86. Uh, this cap is more, this one, because it's right next to my other cap, it's just not that important. I'm going to need a set to take this out. I wonder if he just takes this whole bonus down here. Maybe he's going to try to instigate with yellow. Mm. He just broke yellow. At the last moment there, he just broke yellow. That might have been a big mistake. Because yellow was getting 23 before, now he's getting 20. One. Two. Yep, breaks him right back. Well played. Sorry, bro. I don't want to break anybody. Might as well just hit your giant external stack. If he doesn't have a set, he dies. And I'll set in off of it. Much better position for me to be in on this turn. With a potential kill. Obviously, if white sets on three, the game's going to take a lot longer. He doesn't set on three, and he doesn't actually even hit me. He's going into yellow again. Just takes once, goes into yellow. Now yellow's got the question of, does he break me? Does he break white? I think he's going to... Hit, I doubt he hits next to cap up there. 
If he can, if I can bait yellow into somehow hitting Russia up here, that would be delightful. But I think he's just going to hit white again. And then I'll kill white. I'll set in off of it. And then we can just set a card block off of that, um, which would be delightful. Yellow's going to take a little while to kill, though, because I think his caps are pretty strong. Uh, we're getting 47. We set, uh, and I will set off of the white kill. Yeah, I'll just do it from here. Let me slider these. five not horrible uh, I'm not gonna leave anything on cap right now there's the white kill um, he could have a set slash cap run don't really want to take the risk of that twelve. 12, let's get 35, let's get this up to 50, and then after I hit this, oh shoot. Alright, well I got two middle caps, he shouldn't be able to take them both, if he takes them both that could be bad. I assume he sets now. 50 cap up here. I meant to put troops over here instead of here, and I was going to fortify the 55 back to the middle. He's going to be able to get through this. I actually have a set on three. I'm not going to use it. Oh my god, he failed the roll! He has to lock his cap! Or I guess not lock it, but it's going to make the block much easier. That's insane, 70 troops. Holy cow. I'm not going to set now. We're going to make these both 20s. 20. Make this a 25. Put the rest of the troops up here. Um, and then... He's going to set here, so that is what it is, but... Wow, he lost a 16 on 10. Or 16 on 12? 15 on 11. I lost. I can't believe he lost that. That's absurd. That's that's really high percentage roll. This game has been wild. He's going to come off of one stack. That makes sense. Question is, how many caps can he get off of it? You got to go now. You got to hit what you can hit. Loses 72. Oh, boy. That's not good for him. It's fine for me. It's not good for him. Because he, he hasn't removed the block down here. So he'll break as many bonuses as he can get. But I'll just set in, take all of this back, and probably take his capital too. It goes back to cap. We get 44. We also have a set. Yellow was not a bad player. Kept to himself most of the game. Took out, uh, took out the, what's it called, player? Orange player when, when needed. I don't know how much he has on his other capital. Um... If he's got a set, that's fine. Because we'll force him to use it. And we've defended every cap. I wonder if he just pulls off. Yeah. GG. We will complete the world dumb because we can. Good game.
Well played, and good luck to you, sir. With the old thumbs up. And we take a W. Nice 30, 35 minute game. Not bad. And I honestly felt, I, I felt in control this game for the whole duration. I felt like the game was in my hands. Once Red didn't break me early on, which might have been a bad play by him. Um, but we, we, we took it. We took the game. Intermediates galore. Three intermediates, two beginners in this game. I, I like Yellow's game. I think he needed to to not keep himself locked up for so long and, and, and unleash the beast that he potentially could have been uh, a bit earlier. But I liked Yellow's game. Um, White, I liked, the, I liked White's retaliation on Blue. He didn't let Blue bully him. I think that's fair. But uh, not a bad game. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, the subscribe button is in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.